Suicide in teenagers, it's a very sensitive topic. Suicide in seniors, that is a fairly uncommon topic in this country. According to the latest numbers, though, more than 16% of all suicides here are now members of our older population. Tonight, we have the story of one man who literally saved the life of a senior who was on the brink of taking his own life. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Muller shares the amazing story tonight. When he was floating face up trying to dunk himself, that's when it hit me that someone needs to do something much faster than call 911 and stand by. Tim Smirko was on his way to work Thursday morning when he saw an elderly man standing on the railing of Stevenson Bridge trying to take his life. Smirko pulled over and got out of his truck. He decided he was going to go right in the water, like right here. I knew someone had to do something and it was probably going to be me. Hopped over this and went down. He was out there. It was a total fluke that Smirka was at the right place at the right time. He was supposed to be back in Florida. I was supposed to go back to Palm Beach on Wednesday and I changed my flight. A flight change that saved an elderly man's life. Looked me in the face and clear as day just said thank you very much. And to me that meant more than anything. Statistics show people 65 years and older account for 16% of all suicides in the U.S. One of the leading causes of suicide among the elderly is depression. And one elderly suicide happens nearly every hour and a half. Common risk factors include the recent death of a loved one, loneliness and isolation, and fear of health issues. It's unclear what motivated the man who jumped. Tim Smirka is just happy he was there to jump into action. For me, it was growing up in Buffalo, you always hear about how being a good neighbor and we're the city of good neighbors and that just came I don't know that just rang true yesterday for me and probably everyone else who was here who saw it and helped if you or someone you know have these warning signs or could use some help the crisis services 24-hour hotline is 716-834-3131 that number and this story will be on our WKBW app and Facebook page Brittany Muller 7 Eyewitness News all right thanks